What's up YouTube? It's Mountain Metal Anthony with another one for you. And today, we're going to be lopping the front of this trailer off and we're going to be putting this bolt-on hitch right here in the front. The reason is the owner doesn't want to fuck with this thing anymore. He has to beat with a hammer to get it to open and close. It's just a pain in the ass. So he figures if the next one goes bad, all he has to do is unbolt it and bolt the new one in. So today I'm going to show you how to hack one of these off and weld one of these on. So the first thing I'm going to do is break out my handy dandy speed square. We're going to get it squared up to the two pieces of frame that are underneath this. In my eyes, it's not necessary to cut this whole thing off. And in fact, I think if you did cut this whole thing off, you'd probably just be weakening it. So we're just going to mark right where it comes out on each side. I was thinking on cutting this with a torch, but in hindsight, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use a cutoff wheel, a six inch cutoff wheel, because I think it's gonna be faster. As you can see, this thing's been beaten up with a hammer a thousand times, been pried on, yoked on. So I think this is a pretty good idea by the owner. So let's whack this thing off and get this thing welded on. make sure this is square we don't want to go weld this thing on and it's cockeyed or it's this way it's that way any which way we want it to be square with the trailer the first way I'm gonna check that is I'm just gonna pull from right here and I'm gonna see that there's six inches right there there's six inches right there now I'm gonna pull a measurement from in here we have 32 and 3 quarter 32 and 3 quarter and then we're gonna pull from the outside edge of the trailer. I have 49. I have 49. So we're verifying that that's square in every direction that I can pull off of. Of course, that has nothing to do with how square the axles are gonna to be to the hitch, but this is the best I can do with what we're doing here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is prep this out, because any good welder always preps everything out and gets all the paint off. So I'm gonna go ahead, prep this all the way around, prep the back of our hitch holder, and then get this thing welded out. Now what I'm going to do is center this. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to pull a measurement off of the new receiver, which is three and a half inches. This is four inches. That means we need to go a quarter inch in on each side. You'll notice I'm swiping the Sharpie twice. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm making what they call a crow's foot. Carpenters usually use this and it's basically just an arrow. Now that we have it marked out, our welder's grounded. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack this on with 7018. The reason I'm doing it with 7018 is because 7018 has more elongation. I can bend it and flex the weld more than I could with 6010, which only has like a 10% elongation. 7018 has double the elongation of that 6010 does. So I'm gonna center it. I made a mistake there. It's actually 22% in 6010 and 28% in 7018 according to the AWS specs. Now that I have it tacked in one corner, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Ink Therma digital level. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make it level to the trailer, whatever the trailer's level is. So right now this is at 1.6 degrees, sloping this direction. So we'll set it just behind it. It's actually pretty well level, it's, it's about 0.3 degrees. So that means we need to tilt this that way down. So I've ripped it off and I'm gonna re-tack it because I wasn't happy with how it was before. Uh, it didn't look as level or as even as it could have been to me. So I wish I had a second person to help me with this, but I don't right now. So I just need to get it as level as I can. And basically I'm posting off my knee to get it to level. And then I just need to drag it up a little bit. It looks really even to me. Tag the other top corner. Now, 
a quick tip when you're tacking with 7018. If you do it quickly and it's still red hot at the tip, you can just move from tack to tack. But if it's not, you need to tap the end of it off, get yourself a bare end, and that's gonna make it a lot easier to strike. Because you don't wanna be doing this on your workpiece and then and move it. You wanna keep it to the same place it was. Now before I put my fourth tack on there, I'm just gonna again confirm. Trailer's point three. This is 0.4 degrees. A point degree is not gonna, no, you're not gonna notice that. So we're gonna go ahead and put our final tack on this thing and then we're gonna start to weld it out. So the next thing I'm gonna do, considering this is a structural piece, is I'm gonna wire wheel all my tacks. We don't want any inclusions in this. We have a pretty large gap here we need to fill. And as you can see, I just started weaving up with some 7018, and that's how I'll fill this. I'll just weave that 7018 up, and we'll put a nice cap over it. Now, normally, if I had a gap like that, I would start with 6010, run a downhill pass. But because I clean the inside and outside, I know the inside of that metal's good. I know it's clean. It's not like doing a crack repair on a piece of heavy equipment with hydraulic fluid in it and rust and whatnot. Uh, I know it's all clean and ready to go. So we're just gonna weed 7018, do two passes all the way around. So you can see the side, not exactly perfect. The top is damn near perfect, but that was the easiest weld, so of course it is. And then this side's got a couple of flaws to it. I was a little too hot in here, and that's when I went and I backed down the welder. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wire wheel this up one more time, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my cap on it. I might have to do a third pass on it, just in case the second pass doesn't fill everything in. I might even bump up to eighth inch rod, just so I could do this in one pass, but I'm gonna see how the 332nd treats me. got it all cleaned up looks pretty fucking good so there you go there's another thing I noticed that I'm gonna take care of I'm gonna go ahead and nip these off because we don't want those sharp edges we don't want those to get caught on our customer so let's nip those then we'll paint it dry for a 
for a few and then we'll bolt our hitch on. So the paint is dry. It's been about 20, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop these bolts in real quick and get this hitch bolted back on. Well guys, the last thing for me to do is bang this thing down with an impact, but this is where I'm gonna leave you. If you like what you've seen here today, like, subscribe, and share. If you didn't like it, go fuck yourself. If you really liked it, go buy yourself a hat, a t-shirt, do what you can for your boy, and I'll catch you on the next one.